Hey, I'm Trevor. Thanks for checking out today's video. Anyone that mountain bikes knows that they're pretty expensive. Maintenance is also quite expensive. I like to try and do as much maintenance myself as I can. One thing I haven't been able to do is change bearings. I just didn't have the proper tools to do it. Now I have my Rapid Racer products bearing extractor and press, and I haven't used it yet. So I thought, let's do a little product review and we'll see how good this tool works here. Let's change some bearings. So full suspension bikes have a lot of bearings in them, that's for sure. My Norco Fluid here has eight bearings just in the suspension linkage alone and some bushings as well. So yeah, we got two here, two there, two down there, and there's also two on the back link arms. Of course, we'll start with removing our through axle. Get rid of the wheel. The main culprits I've had so far on my bike have been uh, these two bearings here, kind of the main pivot. And I've been going through bushings actually on my shock as well. So let's try and remove this uh, rear triangle here. Change a few bearings. So when you take this stuff apart, you may want to look at, I guess most bike manufacturers will have a small parts list. Uh, the one in Norco is really good online. It just shows in different layers, um, all of the spacers and stuff and where they go. So if you happen to, you know, drop one of these spacers on the floor, you don't know where it, where it came from, check out the small parts. And yeah, you'll be able to put it back together the way it's supposed to. So you'll have to buy the bearing extractor, but it does not come with dies just because there's so many different sizes of bearings. So you have to buy the dies that you need for your bike. So this is kit number seven, which is for these 6901 bearings. Uh, red is for removing. Blue is for pressing back in. So you'll see that it just fits in there just perfectly. Bearings only go in on one side. You can see there's actually a flange on this inside. So if you try and remove it out this way, well, you're going to probably damage something. So on this style, they go out like that. That goes in there. So we have a short little handle, this one here, double handle, and it comes with two different sizes of rods. I'm just going to use the short one for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and put the kind of little stubby handle on the inside. Get the rod through there first. Just going to thread it in. And I'm going to make sure that the threads are sticking all the way through. You definitely don't want to put a bunch of pressure on something that only has one or two threads started. So if your rod isn't long enough, then grab the other rod. And then you're just going to start turning that. Bearings can sometimes be stubborn, that's for sure. Um, you can use the properties of metal to your advantage. Bearings are going to be made of steel. Your frame is generally going to be made out of aluminum. I guess this would only work for aluminum frames. Um, you can get like the compressed air, you know, that you uh, clean your computers out with. You can use that and when you spray that out, the air actually gets really cold and it'll actually like start to ice up. Well, you could spray your bearing and get that bearing nice and cool which will contract that. And then you could also have, I don't know, like a washcloth or something like that with some really hot water and put that on the aluminum. And yeah, that'll shrink the bearing. It'll expand your aluminum frame a little bit. 
yeah, just use the, the heat to your advantage. I must say that worked pretty darn good. You can see the, the bearing extracted out. It's inside the press right there. Beautiful. Of course, once you get the bearing out, now is the perfect time. Make sure everything is clean. Another little tip. You can use like a little safety pin or a little pick or something like that. And just take the little dust ring off. You can see there's some grease in there. But there's not a whole bunch. So I have a massive tub of just wheel bearing grease. Let's pack that sucker right full. Maybe not right full. But they definitely don't come with a whole bunch of grease in it. Here we go. And then that dust cover just pops right back on. So now we switch to the blue die. So I got blue die, handle, rod, their new bearing slides on like that, goes into there. The other half of the die slides on like that. If you want to make this a little bit easier, I was talking before about the use like the temperature to your advantage. Well, that new bearing, you can go stick that in the freezer for a little bit get that sucker cold and that'll shrink it down but with this awesome bearing press it's going in super easy and yeah put her in until she's nice and snug beautiful wow that is pretty slick i've been super impressed with the guys at uh, Reciprocators, which is in Vancouver. They supplied me with this tool here to do the bearings, um, as well as these fenders that I'm running. I got the ProGuard front and rear fenders in there. Nothing short of amazing. So there we go. We got our new bearing installed. I see it's nice and flush to there. Also a really good idea to have all of your parts kind of laid out in an order that you're going to remember how to put them all back together. You can see on my link arm here, I've had these bearings done at the shop. It's kind of hard with a GoPro because it doesn't focus, but you can see these gouges taken out here. I'm not sure what they used. I'm not criticizing my bike shop at all. Um, it was kind of seized in there for sure. And yeah, it's kind of cracked there. I don't really care, it's scratches. But now that I have this bearing press, I'll be able to do this stuff myself and do it more frequently. Stay on top of, uh, yeah, just taking stuff apart and making sure everything's running smoothly and greased properly.
I won't bore you with the reassembly of the bike, but there you have it. That's the Rapid Racer Products Berry and Press and Extractor in action. Super easy to use. If you're good with tools, like working on your own bike, I highly recommend getting yourself one of these and just start changing all the bearings yourself. If you are interested in purchasing one, you can head to reciprocators.ca. I will leave a little link in the description and that link, uh, it does get me a, a little small commission for each item that you purchase. Any commissions that I get, I'm going to donate them all to the trail societies here on Vancouver Island. If you like today's video, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys.